Playing at Gateway is different. It's very Atlanta when you're there. The music, the people, just the vibes are different from when we play in other places. I think the fans are really into it and it is a smaller arena, so it gets loud and it feels like they're on the court with you. So I've been in the first time, there were definitely nerves and jitters there. Second in for your trio, third seeing Haley Jones. Got a lot of defensive things to remember. I'm running the offense and doing this and that. I get in, my palms are sweating, but once I get the ball in my hands, it's just, I'm playing basketball like I always have. Training camp for us, I want to say it was about two weeks or so. You're still trying out to make the team technically. It's a vet heavy league and there's 144 spots. All Americans getting cut, national champs getting cut. It's a high pressure scenario. This is your livelihood. You want a salary. You want to be able to provide for yourself, your family, whoever. It's tough, it's, it takes a toll, you're tired. And it's not like double days, one session's easy, one session's like shooting. It's two straight up full practices. You have to come in every session prepared to work. And the coaches are gonna be on you and ride you because we have expectations here to have a great season. Training camp ended after about two weeks. And then before practice one day, we're all sitting around waiting. We're like, all right, coaches are running a little bit late. And then all of a sudden, we're getting pulled in one by one for meetings. I was stressed walking into that room. Like, I walked in immediately. They're like, all right, sit down, take a breath. Like, you're good. Let's talk about what we need from you this season. Walking out, the whole team was looking at me and they're like, so you gonna be relaxed now? I was like, yes, yes, guys, I'm working on it. Hi. I'm watching Scandal, and for a uh, breakfast menu, I have water with my electrolytes. We have Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm about to pour my milk in. I made a little scramble here. We have eggs, bacon, spinach. I'm about to put on some Cholula. And this is gonna be my breakfast. I feel like I'm hitting every food group here. My life is very busy. You know, I'm at the gym the majority of the time, but like, Setting time aside for myself to do things that I enjoy, just to like relax, you know, be outside of the gym, do my skincare routine, have different things that I do throughout the day that are just for me, has been really helpful. Oh, new hair reveal. Hold on. Bam. I'm going back to my braids era from high school, but now we had a little color, a little knotless. New person. Atlanta started to feel like home a little bit more. My two complaints are the traffic and the humidity. So I was, I know that's not at me. Oh, was that this car? Speed up, lady. The drivers here, they're something. I think they got road rage like everywhere I go here in Atlanta. Anyways, I saw this one lady driving and she had her phone like this taking selfies as I drove past her. I'm getting used to that. I feel like it's, you know, thickening up my skin a little bit. I've rolled down the window probably two times to have a conversation between me and another driver. But besides that, things are going great here in Atlanta. It's like day four of me driving in Atlanta. Some things only turn this way, some turn that way. And then on the freeway, there's all these different exits and freeways and they all go to different states. And I'm not used to that. I'm like Sacramento, LA, Fresno but it's not like St. Louis, Cincinnati. The following is a special presentation. Hey, welcome to my new ATL crib. Come on in. Here we are. Um, we're in my kitchen. 
than when you just, bam, living room. I have this nice little HJ, some uh, Forever Roses situation going on, super cute. That's my balcony, a gorgeous view. I have the sunset every evening. We come around this way and then go through the bathroom where I got my little shower, skincare area. That's where all the goodies go down. Connects to my closet. We've got jackets, all my clothes, dresses, whatnot. The only shoes I brought, I was really proud of myself for bringing only like six dressy and then normal shoes, kind of Converse and Nikes. And then I've got jewelry and perfumes here. And then I have my octopus. And so today was good. If, if I didn't play well or something, it'd be bad, but good day today. It'll be even better um, tomorrow. So it just loops around for the tour. Last year, I lived with um, Jordan Hamilton. We literally moved in together, like less than a year of knowing each other. It was just one of those friendships where it just clicked. You're at the Players' Tribune, lovely ladies. Yeah. We literally spent every single day together last year, so it's weird being on my own. We're having a separation anxiety. <laughs> so bad. Dude, it's depressing. <laughs> oh my gosh, are those the flowers? You wrote me this sweet little note. You said you don't even like flowers. I don't like flowers. Sure. Now I do. I right. like flowers. Yeah. People say we act like an old married couple, which is funny. We argue, we bicker. Um, but at the end of the day, we do everything together. But we're still trying to figure out, you know, when, when we can talk, when we do this and that, we're both very busy. I'll call you back later. I still gotta give yeah, you to okay. it. Yeah, you okay. You say that, but I what? just called later. Whatever. I'll call you back in a bit. All right, bye. Bye. I'm telling you. I love that. I'm telling you. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Mm -mm. Goofy. We just got to the arena. Um, I'm not nervous to bring you guys along. I have this Google camera with me today. Here we go. How are you feeling? I feel good. You feel uh, good? Ready to go lock some shit up. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Words of wisdom, stay poised. Leash, how you feel today? I'm feeling great. Finding out where I can make my impact was gonna be different than my time at Stanford where I was playing 38, 40 minutes a game for four years. I had that understanding before the first game. You know, it's, it's the rookie experience. Getting a few minutes in Dallas, kind of being a part of a run, getting things going, playing the point, whatever. It was exciting. I went into that game understanding it was going to be a learning opportunity. On the bench, like, I've never had a problem celebrating my teammates. Like, I'm excited. I'm still going to be locked in. I got my first league bucket in Minnesota, got to the rim, scored. Every game, my minutes have seemed to go up. I think it's just a result of continuing to be locked in and staying ready when my name is called. The rookie duty is carrying the uniform bag, and I forgot it on our first road trip. It was given to me after practice, so I take it in the locker room, I get dressed, whatever, I left it in the locker room. We're like 20 minutes into the drive. We are not turning around. We're going to the airport. And then our Dobo comes back and she's like, Haley, where's the uniform bag yet? And I'm like, oh my God, like my eyes start to water and I'm like about to have a mental breakdown on the bus. And the team starts cracking up laughing. And I'm like, this isn't funny. Like, why, why are we joking about this? And so it was fine. They ended up grabbing it and she was just like, you know, like 
you got to be on it and gave me a little talking to whatever and so for the rest of that trip I had that thing strapped on me it was it wasn't going anywhere oh this is kind of nice um so I'm going to the gym we have film at about 10 45 um, and then we've got shoot around at 11. I'm trying to get there around 9.30 if Atlanta traffic will allow so that I can do, do a little extra pregame workout with Ari and Dale. Um, we play Chicago tonight, so we're trying to see if we can do that before they get there. I think Chicago is definitely my best game to date. I come to the locker room and Barb's writing up the scout and she was like, all right, Haley, like, well, how are we feeling today? What are we doing? This and that, you're gonna have that swag today. I was like, Barb, like, today's a good day. I feel it. I'm relaxed. I had a good meal. I took a nap. Like, today's gonna be good. No Billings is just off running the floor. Jones finds the rim. When I got out there, I was smooth. I was calm. I was collected. I was letting it come to me. I wasn't forcing things. Haley Jones! My teammates have a lot of confidence in me and the coaching staff, and I've been nervous for a few games now, so really just kind of letting go and trying to play relaxed. Things just started to click over time. It was just like letting myself relax and not play tense. How about that by Haley Jones, the rookie? I'm not sure if there was a specific moment that I hit my stride. I think it was a variety of events. Attacking the rim, you getting a finish here and there, making a nice pass, having a good defensive possession. Gets it over to Haley Jones for the three. What makes me me on the court is I let things come to me. And so just falling back into that and finding that again has, I think, just changed dividends. Being in the WNBA, I'm one of 144 roster spots right now, right? Like, making a team. This has been my dream all my life, to be a professional athlete. Also knowing that, like, there's more to be done. I have high expectations for myself, things I want to accomplish, things I want to do within basketball and outside of it. It's figuring out, like, how to get to where I want to go while still keeping my feet where I'm at right now. Why? Who's making donuts before I get the other apartment? Please. Why? Bake. Please. Now you're stressing me out. Ooh. Jesus. Mm-mm. No, that's actually bomb. 